Welcome back. Steve AZ here. Well, today I'm going to change the oil in this 2006 HHR. Uh, the oil life says 49%, but I don't usually let it get to the warning where it tells me it's time to change the oil. I like to do it a little bit before, and usually way before this, so started. Well, I'm glad I didn't wash the car because I wanted to point out the jacking points to you. This is where you would raise the car with a jack right underneath here. There's a, there's a little indentation there and you'll see where the jack goes. Okay, I like to put and block a wheel. Then I jack the vehicle up at the required jacking point and I put a jack stand under it just for safety features. Now you'll need a nice oil pan. Something like this is really handy if you do changes. Then your oil filter. This is a 15 millimeter socket here to take loose from the pan and this is an inch and a quarter socket here to uh, take the uh, cap off where the oil filter goes. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm using 5W30 Mobile. I've used different brands of oil and different oil filters and uh, I have no preference at this point. Um, if you're unsure about what oil you take, you can always look on the filler cap. Oh, dirty engine. Okay, let's get started. Oh, did I mention you might need some rags and maybe a pair of gloves, but if you get the gloves oily these type, they're almost useless after that. Okay, once you break the nut, you'll be able to take your fingers and unscrew it the rest of the way. Just position the oil pan. So, and you notice I'm using my gloves. Anyway, Take the plug out and let all the dirty oil start running out into the pan. Okay. If you're working outside like I do most of the time, try not to do this on a windy day. As you can see, this oil stream gets a little and that wind just blows it all over the place. Okay, let's get on the top part now while this oil drains idea to take a rag and wipe the area down in here because there's no dust in Arizona and uh, less of a chance of contaminating your new filter. I also like to leave a rag or two positioned in here because this old filter drips oil when you when you take it out. So what you need to do is take your wrench, inch and a quarter socket, and you've got a little extension on it like I do extension. It's easier. And then you just unscrew it. It's a little tight. And you want it to be and it's a little you don't it's the threads when it goes back in. So when you go to put this top part, screw it back on, you want to uh, do it with your hands at first to make sure you got those threads lined up perfect. It's not a big deal, it's just a precaution. Okay, I've got it to the point where the wrench is not be doing much. So I can unscrew it by hand now. But what I'm going to have to do is set the camera down. I want to get another rag. And what I will do is put this old oil filter in the box that the new one come in and that will help contain some of the dripping. Okay. Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, I unscrewed it. This is the old oil filter right here. This is the original sealing ring. This is the new filter and the new sealing ring. I will tell you, I've probably changed the oil a few times in this car and I have never replaced this ring yet. However, I check it every time to make sure it doesn't leak. It just looked like this ring was a little more substantial than this one, so I left it in originally. 
Now what happens is this filter pulls out, just pulls right out, and then this one pushes right in, sort of locks in there, and then you're good to go. You put it back. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these two together. Excuse me. I'm going to put this one in there. Okay, she's all back together here on top. Now the thing to do is to go back here underneath and put that little plug back in. Okay, I'm still getting a little bit of a stream down here. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I like to put the plug back in when uh, I get to a drip or a real slow drip. But I'm going to give it a little more time and I'll put the plug back in. Okay, I unscrewed the oil cap. Oh, and did I mention one part I left out that you will need? You will need a funnel to put the oil in. Okay, that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'll put the cap back on. Okay, the oil's all in. Cap is on. Drain plug is in. Only thing to do now is to let the car down, start it up, and let it idle, and check for leaks. And that's what we'll do next. Okay, I noticed my engine oil life is still 49%. And according to the uh, owner's manual, when to change the engine oil, it says your vehicle has a computer system that lets you know when to change the engine oil and filter. This is based on engine revolutions and engine temperature and not on mileage. Based on driving conditions, the mileage at which an oil change will be indicated can vary considerably. For the oil system life to work properly, you must reset the system every time the oil is changed. A change oil soon message in the driver information center, which we're looking at right here, will come on and, and uh, you're supposed to change your oil as soon as possible within the next 600 miles. It states, it is possible that if you are driving under the best conditions, the oil life system may not indicate that an oil change is necessary for over a year. However, your engine oil and filter must be changed at least once a year. That is a quote from the uh, owner's manual. Now, how to set your reset the engine oil life system is what we're going to do now. Okay, turn the ignition on with the engine to run. Press the information and reset button on this at the same time to enter the personalization menu. Press the information button to scroll through the available personalization menu modes until the DIC display shows oil life reset. Okay. Coolant. Temperature. I'm pushing this button and it's changing up here. Let's see, I can get back a little further. Okay, fuel range, speed, oil life. Okay. Now, press and hold the reset button until the driver information center display shows acknowledge. This will tell you the system has been reset. Okay, press this reset button here until the display up here says acknowledged. Okay, I pressed the button down once. Nothing said acknowledged. I let up on it. It said oil life acknowledged and I pressed it again and then it said acknowledged and 100 percent. Okay we're good. Start it back up. Now I want to go outside and check for leaks. Okay no no leaks, no runs, no anything. Bottom looks just as good as the top. But you say what do I do with my old oil that's in here? Well it's real simple. If you have a container like this one, you just take the old container here, dump the oil in it, and take it down to your nearest AutoZone or Walmart or parts store that accepts used oil. And there you've done your own oil change. You've got a chance to look underneath your vehicle a little bit, see if you anything hanging down doesn't look right, uh, 
check your tires a little bit. It's a good idea once in a while to look under your vehicle and I found that changing my own oil allows me to do that, save a little money. So there you have it. Change your own oil on the HHR. Okay, Steve from Arizona saying bye for now.